एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम in the first part we have studied about the iron laws now in this upcoming part second part we will study about the copper laws i am narendra kaur now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing e book link description is given in the description box so let us begin with this copper losses so next is the second kind is the copper loss in transformer now iron losses are basically uh, due to presence of iron or due to presence of core while the copper losses are due to windings in the primary and the secondary part so in the primary part there is a this is known as a primary winding if this is a core this is a this is the short representation of transformer and this is a load we will get output over here now if now there is this is a primary winding this is a secondary winding so in case of windings there are some losses of the current or losses of the power so such kind of losses are known as copper losses these kind of losses are also known as winding losses these are also known as winding losses so in the copper losses these are given by here in this case the power loss that is given by cu that is equals to i square r that is same as that of the heat loss so there is occur, uh, the output input power that is lost in the form of heat in case of windings so such kind of losses are known as copper losses so which this is given by i square r again so the total loss in case of transformer that is equals to sum up of iron plus copper again iron loss is sum up of hysteresis plus eddy current plus copper loss so this is given by ph this is due to eddy current that is i square into r so the total output so the input hamara in this case that can be equals to p of output output power plus losses now this input is given by i1 v1 cos theta 1 that is equals to i2 i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus p of iron plus p of copper so that is given by i2 v2 cos theta 2 plus p of hysteresis plus p of eddy current then again copper losses p of this plus i square r so this is the input in case of input is represented by this formula here this is the input power this is equals to output power and plus loss now in case of ideal transformer so first case when there is a ideal transformer losses are zero practically this is not so so if losses are zero then this p input that is equals to output power efficiency of the device is 100% and the loss that is zero while in case of practically transformer practical transformer and this losses are non zero so p input is more than p output and efficiency that is less than 
100 percent. So, in the practical transformer efficiency is around 90 to 95 percent. So, this is a case of ideal transformer and practical transformer. So, in which we can calculate the efficiency as well as losses. So, in order to remove these losses, copper losses. So, copper losses that can be removed when we take the input. So, our main focus is to remove these losses. So, these losses can be removed by using the open end circuit. When the open end circuit is used means there is no load. So, when there is no load this is the open end circuit. So, in this case here this is the open end circuit. So, in this case the copper loss or which is known as a winding loss that can be minimized. So, copper loss that can be or the winding losses that can be minimized in order to make these uh, losses very small the open end circuit is used in this case. So, this is all about the second part. So, in the first part we have studied about the iron loss and in the second part we have studied about the copper loss. So, iron loss and the copper loss they makes the output value very small. So, our main target is in, in order to minimize these losses. So, these losses can be minimized by using the open circuit output voltage. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, kindly refer this book by S. Chand Publishing. Ebook link description is given in the description box. If you like this video, please kindly like, subscribe and share this video and also press the bell icon for the future notifications. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.